The first step is I'm going to brown some ground beef. Normally if I was at home, I would season this with some onion powder and garlic powder and salt and pepper, but I didn't prepare and my spices are underneath the black stone in the kitchen drawer. So this time we will just go a little less flavorful. I'm going to turn off the camera while we let this cook. A quick little shot just showing you the hamburger getting brown. Took a little bit for it to start cooking, but now we're cooking with gas. Propane, that is. All right, so you can see that beef looks nice and good. We're gonna pour the sauce in there. I poured about a third to a fourth of the sauce because we're gonna make some layers. This is supposed to be like a meat lover's pizza, but it's almost kind of like spaghetti or lasagna without the noodles. So we're gonna make this be the base, and then you're gonna see me add some more layers to this. I'll show you, we have some surprises coming. So let me get the next layer in there and show you what that surprise is. You can see I just sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on there. We're gonna have some different layers of cheese. Johnny likes mozzarella cheese okay, but she's not a huge cheese lover. So we're just putting a nice layer down and I'll show you what the next surprise layer is in a moment. So this next layer is just some poor man's regatta cheese. I just put a couple of spoons of cottage cheese. When I say spoons, I mean the bigger spoons. And I got those layered in there. Time for some more sauce and some more meat. So you can see the sauce is on there. It's bubbling from underneath. I have another secret layer that I'm gonna be putting on next. All right, the next secret layer is the sausage that we had from breakfast. Just a little bit of Italian sausage. That's gonna make up, mix up so nice in there with the hamburger. You can see that cheese is already starting to bubble and bubble up. Getting everything nice and hot. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. <laughs> Thank you to my assistant, my assistant camera person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese and then we're gonna go from there and get it nice and hot all the way through. Does this just need thrown in there? Oh. All right, I stirred the bottom layers together to try to get the meat and the sauce and the other cheeses nice and warm, and we're gonna let this mozzarella melt on top. Honey is gonna try it. We usually bake this at home, so this is a new experience for both of us. Hopefully, oops, I'm getting out of range. Hopefully <laughs> she'll like it. A nice big heaping trial. <laughs> Steaming, it should be hot enough. Make sure you get some ham. <laughs> That's what really makes it taste like the meat lovers pizza. Johnny, have you had this recipe before? Yes, I have. Do you like it? Yes, I do. All yes, right. Do. Hopefully you like it blackstoned. <laughs> it may not it may not look the best, but it sure is going to taste good. <laughs> 